So, last time we talked about bear skulls and teeth, but that's not the only difference between the black bears we have here and the brown bears that Liz has at Katmai National Park. Yes, and we're back with comparative anatomist, Dr. Joy Reidenberg. So, what have you got for us today, Joy? Well, you know who I love show and tells? Oh, One for each of you. These are claws. bear claws. Do you know which bear ones claws. you have? Brown bear, for sure, from the Black size. bear over here, yes. Absolutely. And these are like having fishing hooks at the end of a paw to catch fish with. Yeah, and they are sharp. They're, they are. They're definitely and sharp very, and very sturdy. Very, very curved. Absolutely. Sturdy so you too. can see how they can hook right into a fish and pull it out of the water very easily. Yeah. Especially nice. when you got five on each paw. Nice. And the black bear can pin the bit with the fish down and kind of pull it apart a little, working it with its its mouth and using the claws together like tools. Absolutely. So it stabilizes it there while yeah. it can rip the skin off using its teeth. And the brown bear, these, there's no <laughs> fish getting away from these if they have a good grip, right? Doesn't this remind you of a fisherman's gaff hook that you can just gaff that fish and pull it right out Absolutely. of the water? Absolutely. And, this, and yeah. the brown bears, you know, they value their, their claws. They use them for a lot of different things. Fishing is one of them. I mean, claws though, yeah, they aren't just for grabbing fish. You know, the black bears also use their claws for climbing and they're pretty good at it too. Oh yeah, yeah. this I cub, mean, cub. Okay, look at this cub go. And cubs are the ones that have to climb a lot to get away from bigger bears, maybe dangerous bears like males. So this guy's doing pretty well Yeah, here. because he can get way up there on a really thin limb that other bears or other predators wouldn't go because they'd break it, right? So, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. and the claw that they're using is just perfect for that because it's short and therefore sturdier. So I, they can really I, grab into the wood and pull themselves up the bark. Whereas if a brown bear tried to do it, that claw might actually break with the weight of such a large bear. Right, or the tree could break. You know, imagine, imagine <laughs> fingers with, so, well, that's true too. Yeah. But imagine a you know, human with really long fingernails yeah. and how fragile yeah. that can oh, be. Oh, and in the box, we have a brown bear swimming. Now, they don't use their claws for this, but they definitely use those big paws. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they can break into the bark. They can get into uh, trees also and pull out things. Yeah, these bear claws are awesome. <laughs> Thanks for sharing them with us, Joy.